Okay, everybody. Hi, this is uh, Gilmer, and this is episode 7 of my Let's Play to Rise of Prussia, Rise of Prussia. And I'm a little bit distracted because I am having a little bit of trouble with the game. Um, I actually had to reload back to this turn, which is actually where I left it yesterday. But um, what happened was, is when I first came home, I didn't turn on, I used voice meter. And um, I didn't turn that on. I didn't uh, fire that program up. So I recorded about 18 minutes of my of a, of a really my first try at episode seven, and uh, it had no sound on it except sound effects from the game. And it really was not anything that anybody would have wanted to watch. So I went ahead and, and just uh, decided to press on and went to the next turn and started recording and I was just explaining in that episode that um, you missed a turn but you got to see the results from it so it wasn't that big of a deal and then I had a an issue with the game itself the game actually crashed to desktop when I tried to reload the game I couldn't there were there were no units at all now, this is Rise of Prussia, and it is programmed um, from the AJOD uh, company to save 12 turns. So I rolled it back to the end of last night's turn. And so, basically, you know, I've lost two turns. And um, those two turns were actually pretty good for me. What, hap what had happened, which I lost, is Piccolomania attacked into Prague probably twice, might have been twice, I'm not sure. And also, it lost both times. And the second thing that happened was Kurt von Swear moved to uh, Frudenthal, and I wanted to capture Frudenthal and get military because um, in most of Ajog games, if you're three regions away from a depot you get supply and I think it's easier for supply to move through uh, regions that you militarily control so I want to have control of this um, region so that that supply can flow through this road or track or whatever it is I guess it's a, a dirt road and um, supply me when I'm sieging Tropau now what happened that I lost was I actually in the next turn I was in Frodenthal and some troops from Austria moved up. Well the first thing they did was they had a lot of troops. They had more troops than I had actually. They had 50,000 troops but all of them went into the fortress except 5,000. So I moved Kurt von Swearen down and uh, he completely destroyed the 5,000 man army and I had 45,000 of Austrian troops bottled up in Trump out. I sincerely doubt that I'll be able to get that to happen again. You never know, it might happen, but I'm not um, expecting miracles to happen again. But that would have been a major blow to them if I could have captured or, you know, bottled up. 40,000 troops or 45,000 troops in dropout because um, if you look I always get this wrong it tells me here we go he has He's got to have more than that, but maybe he doesn't. Um, it shows 2,700 troops, 2,700, that's 52, that's 8,000, that shows 10,000, that shows about 14,000, and then, so, in the battle that I lost, he they said he had 19,000 men, so that's about right. And if you press, press the control button, 
it'll show you the amount of troops down at the bottom. I don't know what the one is. That might be just one commander. I'm not sure, but whatever it means, um, he has about 20,000 troops total. And I was able to uh, bottle up 45,000 troops in Trump out. That would have been, that might have won me the game. I mean, it literally might have won me the game if I could have kept him uh, besieged in Tropau with 45,000 troops. It, it's probably not going to happen again. And this guy attacked up in the here, lost the battle, and we gained even more national morale. We were at, um, they were down to 90, and I was up to something like 148. So it really kind of is distressing or disappointing to me that I was not able to um, keep that. Now the other things that are going on are this guy, he's actually in Berlin. It didn't look like he's in Berlin or he's in the Berlin region. Um, this guy is moving up to Lubeck because as I mentioned, the, uh, see, now uh, it takes, But um, anyway, it's a little distressing to me because I really was hoping that things were going to go my way in that sense, but not to happen. Now, the thing I was mentioning over here is the strategy is um, just have enough troops here to stop the French or at least slow them down enough and. I almost had enough troops in Konigsberg to slow down the Russians enough. And I have plenty of troops, I think, enough to slow down the Swedish if they decide to uh, fight. So what I'm hoping is I'll have enough troops elsewhere to slow everybody down enough that I will be, hopefully, I can uh, completely destroy Austria's offensive capabilities and then maybe take Prague and maybe even push further into Austria and if you look at this I really only have to capture Prague, Olmutz, Brunn and Vienna and if I do that they, there's a good chance that Vienna or Austria will quit the war and I believe that would be the end of the game. Now he has about 3,000 power right here probably even more because he hasn't lost two battles so um, I'm hoping that he attacks again up here and we are able to push him off again and get the same results and I'm hoping obviously very much so that Von Schwerin can uh, actually capture those troops inside of uh, Tropau again um, and the other thing I was looking at was um, this kind of, this um, is uh, scary because these are frigates or whatever they are, they're warships and uh, I don't really have any kind of naval uh, capacity to uh, stop them or push them away or whatever and my troop transports won't be able to fight them off if we're attacked by them. Now I'm hoping I can put Heinrich von Preussen onto troop transports and move them fairly quickly to uh, Konigsberg. So that's another thing that I have to worry about. So anyway, let's execute this turn and see if it actually works. Okay, I've chosen Prussian cavalry training and Prussian heavy cavalry training. And um, yeah, that's it. Let's see if, cross your fingers and hope this turn makes it. If you hear me say, oh shit, then that means that I've got to crash the desktop. So I'm hoping and praying that one, that I don't get to crash the desktop, and two, um, some of the good fortune I had that. I lost when I had a crash test top return study. Uh, but 
holding out hope that I'll get that kind of fortune that I did in those other turns, but you never know. Excuse me, I had to take a little bit of a drink. Oh, I've been talking for about two hours now. Even though I've only had this, this video right oh, for 20 minutes total. This is exactly what happened actually in the first turn. Ready, Ready, and actually the Prussian troops, not all the Prussian troops enter the field immediately. This time they did. And this is actually going on slightly better for me than it did before. To, uh, meet Piccolomini. Because Piccolomini was a 3-1-1 a general. Not a good general at all. And uh, he does very poorly against Frederick the Great. Excuse me. See, he's losing troops constantly. He's hemorrhaging troops right now. He's just losing troops left and right. I lose five to ten. To his he's losing five hundred to my twelve or fifteen. So I lost two thousand men. He lost six thousand men. So he lost three to one. That's not as actually as good as the first battle, and I think it's because I had less troops on the field to begin with, so he didn't retreat immediately, and this time it looks like he probably retreated a lot quicker, but... See, they have all of their troops. That four means that all of their troops are in Tropau. So let's see. See, I gained seven national morale off of that battle instead of ten, like I did on the the uh, battle I lost uh, the, to the screen. Um, save here. Uh, Wilhelm von Preussen has been congratulated. Uh, von Kat, von Kata. Will Friedrich von Retzow has been congratulated for his action against the enemy. He is now promotable. So let's see if uh, it's going to anger anybody if I promote him. Retzow, Retzow, where is Retzow? He's way on down there. Yeah, see, all of these one stars are higher seniority than he is. So if I promote him, there will be a lot of upset people. Well, actually, the only one that they'll say is upset is Hessen Castle because he's the most senior of the one stars. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to promote him. Um, we won that battle. Take a look at that battle, actually. Just, just, uh... So, they have a lot of cavalry. Of course, I do, too, it seems. Um, all of these are the abilities of your generals. And uh, also, some of, the, some of the actions. It says our units open fire at an initial range of four. If the commander allows an easy retreat on the first two hours of battle... So he was probably set up to retreat fairly early. Um, that's a siege bonus. That doesn't. I don't think that means anything. At least one army fleet of your opponent had a defensive posture. Um, don't know about that. Um, our opponent, your opponent's luck rate on the combat dice rolls is a 53. I don't understand all of these. I don't know if that means when it says your, it's you know, speaking from his position, so your, you know, Piccolomini's your would be Frederick. But if it means me as the player, 
then it would be them who would get the 53. So I don't, I'm not really sure. Oh, I guess it's on this side too. Your luck rate, your luck rate on combat dice rolls is 51. So it looks like theirs was two points higher on luck rate. Big deal. I don't know if that's that big of a deal. Um, we took 800 prisoners. We had a trench effectiveness of five. That's nice. Uh, percentage of surprise from your opponent that you during the battle. Does it say, does it? There's not a number out there. Maybe it, there was no surprise. I certainly wasn't surprised to see him attack. Well, I was kind of surprised, actually. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to move to jump out. See if I can't capture these troops. Um, trap them inside. And, uh, siege them there, and maybe I can get them to... Uh, Surrender at some point. That would be 20. That would be 38, 42, 43, 44. Um, maybe 44 units, 44 elements. That would be a huge, a huge uh, national morale boost. That's for sure. F5. See, I'm at 141 and he's at 93. It was 144 to 90 is what it was on the turn line. So uh, still pretty good. Still pretty good. So let's see, um, let's look up here, and that, that war ship unit is gone, and uh, in my other turn when I lost, I took a, I took a uh, chance. I'm going to regret that, but I really, really need him to get to Konigsberg as quickly as possible to uh, set up for the defense. And if we lose Heinrich and those troops, we're in bad shape. But like I said, you know, you have to take chances to win the game. Get a new Prussian general. Do I really need more Prussian generals? Um. That I have 49 engagement points. Yeah, I've got plenty of engagement points. Might as well. Um, F1, F2, placements, it's more money. So I left to do except. In um, Civil War II, and I think two in all wars, if you click on double click on a unit that you can build, it'll tell you where you can. It'll it'll immediately go to that a region that you can build them in. But in this game, it does not. But it's okay because we will find them anyway. So I really don't want to build a lot of troops instead. Magdeburg, but let's see what this says. So 16 days. Great. But then next turn I'll just say just do 24 days. Put him on offensive moves. So as soon as he gets to Lubuck, Lubeck, he'll Start attacking or, or not uh, not assaulting, but um, actually I could probably put him on assault. We'll wait till next turn just to see what happens. If uh, he if it looks like he's going to get there in one turn, I'll put him on assault, and they'll assault as soon as they get in, and uh, I'll probably take Lou back. And then, according to Narwhal from Ajod, the Ajod forums, Lou Beck will immediately. Uh, flip over to the Russians, I mean Prussians, and um, yeah, that'll be one of the first big victories. 
Look at all these guys I have up here. lead units. Into game. Do that. How do I do that? Because, um, Dismiss core, dismiss army. There's a there should be a plus button. So. Dismiss core, create core, dismiss arm, form army. The plus it's that button right there. So why won't it is not right. Oh. So I have a force of 400 and a force of 347 to uh, protect oh and herb prints. Oh. It was a 344. Save it. Let's see what's going on over here. So I have these troops sitting just outside of Munster. I probably should move them to Munster. And uh, on the very next turn, the French are going to actually appear here because I know that because I've actually executed late May already one time. And the French showed up. The Marquis d'Armentier will show up with some troops, and he'll move up to Wessel and start um, sieging Wessel. So then I can see if I can't either come down here and oppose him right there, which might not be a bad. Just uh, so um, yeah, save it. Um, did I do this over here? So I do have him moving there, have them Keith, Keith's core, Life's Brigade. I've done this already once, so I, it's it's almost as if I you know, almost forgot to do this because I thought I had already done it, but um, I did it in the turn I lost. So um, Keith's core is back to being the strong force again, and uh, that's that. So let's, uh, let's execute this turn. See, I didn't, I'm not playing PBEM. What is the hell is going on with this game? Hope that doesn't screw everything up. I 
I have not clicked PDEM at all in this game, so I don't know why it would say that. I don't know if you saw that message or not, but it should not say anything about PDEM. I'm not playing PDEM. Come on, Piccolo Mini. Attack me again. I've got two, looks like two breaches on Prague now. Um, there's the Okay, this is exactly what happened in the turn I lost. There were 19,000 men to 5,000 men outside the just Let's just cross the fingers that I can keep this uh, this turn because I completely I'll completely destroy oh, okay, okay. Uh, this guy's troops. Esther Hazy. I know that's not really spelled, but I've seen I've seen Esther Hazy spelled in a different way before, and it was pronounced Esther Hazy. Could be Esther Hazy. Completely destroying this uh, formation that's arrayed against us, and the rest of them are inside Tropal. That's exactly what happened. There's Darmentier attacking Wessel. He came from there, actually. Um. The first Russians. Jesus. See, it's starting to get a little nerve wracking. There are a lot of troops floating around. I gotta keep my cool here. Looks like they're gonna attack up into a uh, castle. These troops. So, capture the supply train in Tropal. That's good. You can always use a supply train. Kirkland Schwerin has been congratulated for his victory against the enemy, New Seniority 5. Joaquin von Treskow. Congratulated. Heinrich von Kersel has been congratulated. Johann von Lestwitz. And Christian von Kessel. No, Kalsal. Kalsal. Have all been congratulated. Now look at that. I don't know if they can sortie outside of the castle or a fortress or not, but look at the power. I mean, I'm sorry I'm talking like this, but look at the power. That's 40, what is that, 40, about 4,400 power has been bottled up in Tropal. If I can get that to uh, surrender, that could be the game. I mean, it, it, it won't be the game, but it could be. Pride Fortress is besieged and partially damaged. The structure still provides a defensive benefit, and assaults are still impossible. See, I need a three. It's a two right now, but I need a three for, um, see, it's a two. I need a three before I can actually assault. But, by golly, I am going to assault when it is ready. It's not going to let me do it here. Build a depot. No, I'm not allowed to build a depot here, I guess. I guess because it's in a, a uh, region that has a fortress that's owned by the enemy. 
If I get a three, I'm going to assault immediately because they only have 300, the power of 300 inside. And um, outside, we have a power of about 6,000. So, not going to do anything different here. Um, everybody's on offensive stature, except him, like he is now. Um, that is a pretty powerful little force right there. That's a thousand, that's six hundred plus it's thirteen hundred, it's about fifteen hundred. And I have about fifteen hundred opposing. And here comes this guy. Who knows how many troops he has? So, um,. Command provided command. They got they have a five percent penalty. Um, really worried now. So now that's saying eleven days. Let's put that on assault because I want to take that as quickly as possible. And, um... Shit. Is it... Come after me. Is it... First, first of the Russian troops are now showing. These guys are locked. That's my garrison in memo. So, this is nerve wracking. This is really nerve wracking. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save. And then I'm going to. We have received a new Prussian general. That's it. It doesn't say. That's it. Halt Bernberg. Bernberg. That's him. So yeah, I've got plenty of Form. There's at this point four, four, ten, three, four, eight. So that's about a thousand opposing this Swedish. That ship, those two ships right there, is kind of giving me a little pause. But hopefully, they can't capture him at this point. They can't catch up to him. Probably. Yeah, for too much at this point, but let's do one more turn. Let's see what happens. I'm going to uh, focus on here just to see. This is getting nerve wracking because I have a lot of armies stacked up against me and I have a little bit of luck here or a little bit of fortune good fortune and see if I can't um, get get a little bit of you know Von Swearing has some siege artillery with him so that's good because I think that will cause a lot of breaches and will They'll actually, there's a good chance that they will surrender if they, they can't break out. Now, 
you know, it's almost to the point where I want to move my whole army over there and uh, make sure that we capture this army. Because if we capture that army, Austria is going to be in a, a world of hurt. That means that their entire, their entire east side will be completely, could be completely cut off, or completely open to attack. And um, believe you me, I will press the attack. See, that's not. Uh, see, I don't know about that. I'm probably going to lose that battle. So I, my fortune. So yeah, these guys are. Colorado's army is coming out of the, the fortress. This is, this is probably going to end poorly and badly. troops at basically the same rate, which isn't really a good... See, we're trying to retreat, and we can't, so we're in trouble. destroyed and if that's the case it's we're in trouble shoot we didn't lose any they lost more men we didn't lose any any units so that's not what I wanted to see of course back. That was scary. It's like, what the hell's going on there? So we lost that battle, but we didn't lose as many troops as they did in the in the battle, so the national morale effect should, should be negligible. Let's see. The Battle of Plassey. The Battle of Plassey and Indian English troops, while vastly outnumbered, defeats the Nawab of Bengal and his French allies. The entire province of Bengal falls to the British East India Company, and the enormous wealth gained from the Bengal Treasury will allow the company to significantly strengthen its military might. And it gives us 5 EP, 10 national morale, and 5 victory points. Holy shit. That is awesome. Uh, Lubeck goes Prussian. And that's because Lubeck aligns with Prussia and appoints Johann Egmont von Chesat as governor of her garrison. Needless, needed subsidiaries and more supplies are falling through the city harbor. So Lubeck goes our way. And as you can see, the mouse over the tooltip, it says Prussian allies, General Chesat, and strong garrison in Lubeck, plus five conscripts, plus ten war supplies, and plus 15,000 thalers. So, what is this going to say? 149 to 83. That's not bad. That is definitely not bad. While tanking Lubeck, we, gained, we managed to capture 177 supply carts and 138 uh, ammunition. Told you. That was a good, a good idea that I got from Narwhal. Hamburg, Holy Roman Empire, Austria. Take 
number and um, it still stands and uh, assaults may now be launched I'm taking Prague but uh, this is the end of the turn or the end of my episode 7 so uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time this is my let's play of Rise of Prussia thank you and I will see you tomorrow